Cache EOS just hit the top of DistroWatch rankings. Thousands of people are asking if they should ditch Manjaro for this blazingly fast newcomer. I investigated both to see if the hype is real. Cache OS recompiles Arch packages with x86-64 v3 instruction sets, link time optimization, and the bore scheduler. Pharaonix benchmarks showed 5-20% to performance gains. That's measurable, not marketing. Manjaro holds back Arch packages for two weeks, calling it stability testing. But those two weeks don't make packages more stable. They just make your system outdated. Security patches arrive late, and when you use the AUR, you're running install scripts written for current Arch on an outdated system. This causes partial upgrades that break things. The controversy around Manjaro is absolutely nuclear. They've let SSL certificates expire three times. They told users to roll back system clocks. Their package manager, Pamac, flooded the AUR twice, taking it offline for everyone. A privilege escalation vulnerability was found in their bash scripts. Cache OS isn't perfect. The register found installation consistently fails. The bootloader wouldn't install on multiple test systems. Recent releases switched to an LTS kernel because the stable kernel had too many issues. Users report occasional instability with aggressive optimizations. But here's reality. For documents, browsing, or light gaming, the performance difference is imperceptible. Your brain can't detect the difference between 98 and 102 frames per second. Cache OS wins benchmarks. Properly configured Arch feels just as fast. Manjaro calls itself beginner-friendly Arch. The installer works. Hardware detection is solid. But rolling releases require maintenance knowledge beginners don't have. You need weekly updates and reading announcements before updating. Calling Manjaro beginner-friendly is like calling a motorcycle with training wheels beginner-friendly. The verdict, skip both and install Endeavor OS or Pure Arch. Endeavor OS gives you clean Arch with a graphical installer and sane defaults. It stays current without holding packages back. If you must choose between these two, Cache OS is better for gaming on modern hardware. Manjaro's stability claims don't hold up. But neither is ideal for beginners. New Linux users should start with Linux Mint or Fedora first. Performance optimization is great. Stability matters more. If this helped you dodge a bad choice, perfect. I investigate Linux distributions that promise everything to see which actually deliver. Drop a comment about your distro experiences. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now, the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.